Hello everyone, welcome to Automators Industrial Projects. I'm Santosh and in this video we will discuss about any pointer. Uh, any pointer in step 7 stores the parameter in 10 bytes and while constructing any pointer uh, always make sure that uh, all the 10 bytes are occupied because uh, it evaluates the whole contents of parameter. Here you can see in the help file of uh, step 7 they have already clearly mentioned the the contents of uh, any pointer that is data types, repetition factor, DB number, memory area and start address of the data and they have segregated them with the with the 10 bytes for uh, individuals you can see here data type, repetition factor, DB number etc. Well uh, to go in detail we start with an example the first thing I want to tell you that um, I'm using here an any pointer in this example to copy the data from DB51 that is source DB and and paste it in DB52 that means whatever the data is changed in DB51 it's automatically replica uh, um, automatically changes in DB52 so it's it's similar to SFC20 but in this along with SFC20 we are using the dynamic um, um, change of source and destination DB that means the source and destination DB can be changed dynamically okay so let's start with an example okay um, first I have considered in the in source and destination DB number that is the input for the block and in temp the source any and destination any pointer okay so first load the pointer and transfer it to the to the address register 1 and start initializing the parameters as shown in the help file as shown in the help file so first load the syntax ID you see the syntax id is 10 in hexa so we have loaded this 10 and transfer it to the byte 0 transfer it to the byte 0 then load the data type this is b hash 16 hash 5 in byte 1 you see the data type in byte 1 so 0 5 is in for uh, the 0 5 is for integer so because in our db51 source and destination db we have a data type integer that's why I have inserted here b hash 16 hash 5 in the parameters the next thing is repetition factor how how, how many times we we want to copy the data here I have uh, defined 3 for source and for destination 3 that's why the load repetition factor is 3 and it has it is transferred to byte 2 and here you see it's not byte it's word because the repetition factor is completely of byte 3 and byte 2 that is together word then next is db number byte 5 and byte 4 again word and then the memory area with the starting address so this is how I have defined the <coughs> the source and uh, in the similar pattern we have to define the destination and then use the SFC20 point the pointer source any and destination any then the data get copied from 51 to 52 the, the DB number can be changed because the source any and destination is dynamic we can change this accordingly so if I change here to you see the 2 is already copied in DP52 if I make the repetition factor here okay before 2 and here 2 sorry download this so after changing repetition factor to 2 that means only first two 
contents are copied the third one will not the third one will not be copied okay even if i change here to 5 you see it's it's zero still we make it back to 3 the repetition factor you see now it's 5 so this is how repetition factor works uh, let's try with an other data type uh, taking boolean in picture now we make here bool <coughs> sorry make it bool here download this download here monitor okay now if I change here this is not going to affect because we have to change the data type in our program right so let's change so uh, according to our um, table for uh, boolean we have to use 0 1 as in code so zero one zero one okay download okay so still we are not able to copy so you all know that sfc20 uh, when you use this uh, to copy the data from or uh, from source to destination always make sure that the the length is divisible by eight this is the 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 major point you have to remember that's why the repetition factor should be minimum 8 when you select the the boolean okay you see true true I make false here you see false false so um, I will also show you what I was meant see this is the block I have called uh, the any pointer here I have attached this DB 51 52 this number we can keep as an dynamic number that is the use of any pointer and I have already explained you the the initialization of parameters how we have to do and the importance of repetition factor and data type which has to be always taken care of before we use any pointer and uh, using this network we can able to copy the data from one db to other db if they are of same data type and length and also when you select boolean make sure that it is always divisible by eight and even though if you are not using any pointer if you are using only a simple sfc20 that is block move then make sure this is the length should be always divisible by eight because you this is the, the standard uh, thank you for watching this video if you have any queries please post down uh, post it down at the comment box uh, and if you guys wanted to be um, cover any video by me then please write it down thank you thank you for watching